Hello and welcome to Stalkwatch. We're checking on this week's biggest trades from Wall Street Bets. We are starting off with a huge loss by Clotty Childhood 2760. Since losing money is cool here, he posted this. In the past year, he's down by 98%, or 137k in total. The sad part is that he didn't lose money gradually. He unfortunately lost most of it in the first two months, and he's left with just $1600. He listed the plays in the comments. He lost money on multiple plays, mostly Lucid, CRISPR, PSTH, and a bunch of other specs. Too many to list here. Next up, we have an absolute chat with an insane gain. Trader by the name of Small Bites made more than 170k gain on spy puts. Here is what he wrote Don't ask me why I bought puts the day it expires. I bought these options this morning, hoping for a miracle. Started seeing red to green and held on for dear life. Sold all right before 3 pm. And yeah, from the screenshots, we can see that he bought spy put options with a striking price at $449 on the expiration date, which was on February the 11th. Absolute chat. Next, we have a huge loss by Spook King. First of all, he's asking if Andy is hiring. And second of all, he's down 99% or $103,238.53 in total. Once again, we can see this sudden drop in the start of the year, which seems to be very common right now. He's left with just $490.02. Well, hopefully he can get a job at Wendy's and on to the next one. Next, we have a decent gain by Psycho. Here is what he said. Someone on here said the loss was getting old. Guess I'll show you guys what life's been like as a gay bear. The second screenshot is a put play I had on Facebook this month. Mostly spy puts though. Anyway, he is up by 3675% in just one month, or $32,000 in total. He basically traded his way up from around $1,000 to more than 30 k One of the most amazing parts is that we can see this almost steady growth throughout the month. Next, we have a trader who lost 200 k and is asking if he's doing this alright. Trader by the name of Sidious is down by $215,133.78. Most of his losses coming from PayPal and Matterport. He's holding a lot of shares, so if he just holds, he should be okay in the long term. But as of near term, he's going to experience a lot more pain. Next, we have a trader by the name of Shady Penguin, with a huge gain. In the past month, he is up by around 600%, or 51k in total. Here is what he wrote. The percent is very inflated because I withdrew 20k. I've got no one in real life to talk about stocks, so I'll recap this month's activities. Google calls on earnings, sold the next day to bomb the account a ton. Then I started buying shares of Nvidia, Coinbase and Disney and selling calls against them right at the price I bought. Basically just counting the premium as my goal profit. Margin was active since I'm stupid, but that allowed me to sell 10 to 15 calls depending on the stock. Then bought spy puts expiring last week, which made me about 12k. Sold them today cause the market seems stupid. Just gonna buy stocks I like now, but immediately sell calls against them. So if they get called away, I made my weekly profit. And if not, I like the stock. Also I'm awful at this, still down 70 k all time. So not worried about capital gain stacks. Hope the tendies find you all during these manipulated times. Take profits, treat yourself and kiss Pelosi. Amazing, hopefully he makes that 70k back in the next couple of months. Next we have an insane loss but buys to King Storm. Well this trader posted a YOLO about 12 days ago. Now just read this because it's really funny. He thought that by February the 18th, Facebook also known as Meta will gain back a third of what was lost two weeks ago. Recovery play plain and simple. And that is why he bet at 180k on this trade. He bought 400 Facebook call up with a striking price at $245, with an expiration date on February the 18th. His average cost was $4.59, and he sold them for $0.54, cents, realizing roughly 90% losses. He still thinks it was a shot worth taking. Next, we have an insane gain by Futurama. He thanks Roku as he ain't broken. He made a total gain of 400%, or 99k in total. He's up by so much because he bought a lot of puts on Roku, with expiration dates on February the 18th and 25th. Truly amazing. Next, we have an insane loss by two common noob. Nancy, are we in the metaverse yet? Well, he's down 89% or $80,000 in total. He lost so much money because he bought Roblox call options with a striking price at $100 and an expiration date on January the 20th, 2023. So he still has quite a lot of time, but it's still sad to see those losses. Next, we have a trader by the name of Kevin2020. He lost almost 100k in a single month. You might be wondering where he lost most of his money. Well, it was Spy with a 60k loss, then Alibaba with a 10k loss, followed by CrowdStrike and AMD. Hopefully he somehow picks himself back up. And last but not least, we have a loss by no cap, no rep cap. And the title is quite self-explanatory. In the past year, he lost 20k, and to be fair, at some point he was up by almost 10k. But things turned for the worse rather quickly. Unfortunately, he did not post his position, so we don't know how he lost his money. If you want to see even more losses from all bets, bats, click on the video that just popped up. Someone even lost more than 2 million dollars. And if that is not enough, smash the 
the subscribe button, press the notifications bell down below, so you get notified whenever I post a new video. If you have any questions or recommendations, leave them in the comments down below, and thanks for watching.